friends, this is the last video in the Star Scorecard series. The last video, cheat code 5.10F. We're in 5.10, so we're talking about money. So what do we do? What do we do with money? We balance our budget, okay? This would be good for our nation. This would be good for your home and for your city, for you personally. If everybody had a balanced budget, it would be awesome. Uh, we talked about all this vocab in 5.10E, so we're going to kind of take it easy uh, and move through it. Three problems. We're working on three problems. Miss Bond's monthly budget is shown in the chart. She receives two paychecks per month. Okay. Her income. So that is $2,400. Okay. Now her expenses, right? What is Miss Bond's budget? Miss Bond's budget is balanced every month. How much is Miss Bond's monthly car payment? Whoa. Okay. So we have to figure this out. So we're going to subtract, if a balanced budget, if a budget is balanced, that means that the income that you receive is the same as your expenses. Savings is always an expense. Always. Savings is an expense. It's not an income. So let's add these together. Um, 900 plus 350. That's $1,250. Okay. Okay. 250 plus 200 is 450 dollars. 150 plus 250 that's 400 dollars. So now let's add those together. 450 plus 400 is 850 dollars plus 1,250. Zero zero eleven twenty one hundred. How much is her car payment? What's 2400 minus 2100. 2100 is $300. B. A lot of math on these. A lot of just multiple steps. So for me, I don't like to just add a huge list of numbers. I like to just add pairs of numbers and then, then just do multiple, multiple problems. It, it keeps things more simple. More work, but it's more simple. Less, it's easier to not get confused when you do that. All right, so far this month, Nancy, let's talk about Nancy. <laughs> uh, uh, Nancy uh, has expenses and income shown in the chart. Uh, oh, look, they switched them, right? Here's the income, here's the expenses. Be careful. Nancy wants to buy some music online and also have a budget, ba a balanced budget based on Nancy's current budget, what is the greatest amount of money she can spend on music? Let's do income. Income, 30 plus 50 is 80. 25 and 35, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1, 60. 60 plus 80, uh, 6 plus 8 is 14, 140. Okay, that's her income. And her clothes and food, that's $100, right? 4 plus 6 is 10. That's 100 plus 30 is 130. So she can spend $10 this month on music, online. She can buy an album. She can buy a CD. Okay. Last question. All right. Uh, Ellie's monthly income is 2400 Her monthly budget allows for half of her income to be spent on food, clothing, and savings. Whoa, okay. So we'll just do this first. Half her income. Her income is 2400 What does half mean? Divided by two. One, two, right? Two goes into two four times, and then zero, zero. 1200 Half of her income equals food, clothing, and savings. Food, clothing, and savings. Last month, Ellie saved 500 so 1200 equals food plus clothing, clothes, right, uh, plus $500 because it says she saved 500 How much money does she have left for food and clothing if she stayed within her monthly budget? Okay, well, what's 1200 minus 500 1200 minus 500 
is borrow from the zero. So we got zero, zero. 12 minus five is seven, 700. 700 is for clothes and food. That's, that's a lot of clothes and food, uh, food and clothes. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, there's not a next scorecard series, so we'll see you next time. And, and please watch the other videos. Reach out. Let me know what I can do to help you. See you later.